What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I got a little something special. I've been working on it for a while now. We're starting from all the way back in the 2013-2014 season. And we're going to re-sim year by year with real recruits. And wherever they end up is wherever they end up. We're going to do it year by year though because we're going to go kind of in-depth with the recruits and like kind of seeing where they're going. I'll even show a little bit of highlight reels for uh, some of the players from back in high school. Um, to create a more diverse playthrough, I'm going to use random generated classes and then look at the recruiting websites to see who a player is in correspondence to their rankings. I'll show y'all what I mean in a second, but let's check out the rosters. All right, so Alabama is who I'm choosing to kind of I'm not going to control them whatsoever, but that's who we're going to be user team as just because they've had one of the most elite dynasties ever. Um, so kind of seems fitting to, you know, control them. But uh, Ha Ha Clinton Dix is the free safety. I mean, it's, it's the whole, I'm not going to go through the rosters like that, like I usually do. But I mean, you can see AJ McCarron, uh, TJ Yeldon. Derrick Henry as a freshman like it, it they got the whole the whole thing Amari Cooper uh, Let's go check out Florida cuz I'm a Florida fan So Florida wide receiver Quentin Dunbar Andre DeBoss Demarcus Robinson as a freshman freaking Latroy Pittman bro tight end Kent Taylor Clay Burton dude and then back, Jeff Driscoll, all positions, Dominic Easley, best on the team, Jonathan Harrison, Vernon Hargraves as a freshman, bro. That's crazy. He's going to be a 99 in a few years. Um, Obviously, you know him, you hate him. Jameis Winston, he's going to be a 96 overall because he won the the Heisman this year and they went to the national championship and all that. So, uh, yeah, he's here, unfortunately. Um, Georgia, Aaron Murray at quarterback, Todd Gurley at running back. I mean, it's, it's crazy. I, I haven't thought about a lot of these guys in a while. Todd Gurley, especially. Um, what about Ohio State? Running back, Carlos Hyde. What about uh, is uh, Ezekiel Elliott, true freshman, 82 overall. Man, it's going to be cool to see some of these guys put some. Carlos Hyde, though. I used to love Carlos Hyde, bro. Um, Oregon. DeAnthony Thomas. Oh, my God. Marcus Mariota, obviously. Sophomore, redshirt sophomore. Who they got at wide receiver? Oh, Braylon Addison. Uh, dang. Who's there? Yeah, obviously, it's got to be Marcus. Yeah. I remember this guy. But DeAnthony Thomas, bro. If you ain't seen his highlights. Let's go! All teams will go best players. At each position, Teddy Bridgewater, Blake Bortles, Johnny Menzel, Marcus, Jameis, Derek Carr, <laughs> my God, Zach Mettenberger. Y'all remember when everybody thought he was like good? It's crazy. AJ, Braxton Miller, the spin cycle guy, Aaron Murray, Brett Smith, Logan Thomas, Jordan Lynch. Let's go to running backs, Carlos Hyde. Kadeem Carey, oh my god, TJ, Bishop Sankley, Trey Mason, James White, Charles Sims, Amir Abdullah, oh my god, Jeremy Langford, Andre Williams, nobody cares about these fullbacks, Sammy Watkins, oh my god, Marquise Lee, Where, what happened to him, bro? Mike Evans, probably one of the most consistent wide receivers of all time in the NFL um, Allen Robinson okay Brandon Cooks Odell Beckham yo Kelvin Benjamin 
Jordan Matthews, Philly Brown, Devontae Parker. He's a crazy. Eric Ebron. Uh, Grimble. Hmm. Left tackle, Jake Matthews. Nice. That's, for some reason, I thought that was Anthony Richardson for a second. Left guard. Kind of. I think Johnson down here, Caleb. Nah. Center. Obviously, Jonathan. Right guard, some. Not anybody that sticks out immediately. Fisher down here sticks out. Jake Fisher, yeah. Juwan James, obviously. Left end, Stephon Tuitt. Okay. Aaron Lynch. D is that D Ford? Yeah. Right end, Jadavion Clowney. 99 overall. That's crazy. That's so funny. Dante Fowler. Hello. Defensive tackle Aaron Donald. I didn't know he was moving like that in college. Dominic Easley. Left outside linebackers Khalil Mack. Okay. Adrian Hubbard. Ryan Shazier. Nice. Anybody else? Middle linebackers. Max Blau. CJ Mosley. Andrew Jackson. Right outside linebacker. Anthony Barr. Kyle Van Noy. Yo. Corners. Efo. Justin Gilbert. Jason Verrett, okay. Bradley Roby. Quandre Diggs, that's crazy. EJ Gaines. Blue, oh my god, bro. Demetrius Nicholson. Yeah, some of these guys are. Adrian Amos, that's crazy. Free safety, Ed Reynolds. I have no clue who that is. I'm going to be real with you. Ooh, Calvin Pryor. Strong safeties. CJ Barnett. Hmm. Thomas Gordon. Alden Darby. Best kicker, Cario Santos. Hmm. Cody Parkey, hey. Is that Chris Boswell? Did I pass him? Yeah, Chris Boswell. Punter, Kirby Van Der Camp. Jesus. Pat O'Donnell. Hey. Cruz, Mark Cruz. All right, well, that looks like it is the brunt of them. Jadavion Clowney, the only 99 in the league this year. A few 98s, but um, so we're going to sim halfway through the season. Check out some rankings, Heisman voting, all that kind of stuff. And if any top 10 players or notable players have committed, we'll be checking them out and who they committed to in comparison to who they committed to in real life. All right, so wherever this guy right here commits, the 47th ranked quarterback in the class of 2014, wherever this guy commits, they're going to be getting a pretty good player. Let's just say that. So obviously Texas is in the lead for this guy. If they get him, they're going to be getting a really, trust me guys, a really good player. So uh, let's get on. We're going to simulate halfway through the season, see who's committed, see what's going on with the top 25 polls and all that. So I'll see y'all there. All right, guys. So up to week seven, Crimson Tide are 4-1. and one. They lost to um, Texas A&M. Makes sense with uh, Johnny Menzel and all that. So let's check out this top 25. So Texas A&M, 
if anybody, I would like them to be the ones at, at one. But uh, so Texas A&M, Oregon, Oklahoma, Louisville, Michigan, Texas, then Alabama, Georgia, okay, Ohio State, Miami, Clemson lost to is that number eighteen. Syracuse, bro. What? Florida State is four and one. It does not look like they're gonna be the ones winning the national championship this year. Um, UCLA, UCF, Florida is three and two. They used to be the thirteenth ranked team in the country. They lost to Arkansas last week. Okay, that sucks. Um, South Carolina, TCU at twenty two. Kansas State, dang, a bunch of teams are just losing left and right. Michigan State now ranked, and Washington now ranked. Uh, let's go check out some of the Heisman. Taj Boyd is the front runner for the Heisman this year for Clemson. Storm Johnson, running back for UCF. Carlos Hyde, Ohio State. Johnny Menzel for Texas A&M, and then Logan Thomas quarterback for Virginia Tech. Those are the front runners for Heisman right now. We'll check back at the end of the season. As for statistics, let's go by passing yards. Connor Halliday is leading the NCAA in passing yards. Then it's Brandon Daughtry, Matt Johnson, Jared Goff, true freshman Jared Goff, 78 overall. Hello. Taylor Heineke. Okay. AJ McCarron, Case McCoy, what, Derek Carr, Taj Boyd, Chase Redding, Nick Montana, ooh, Garrett Gilbert, hello, anybody else, Teddy Bridgewater, blah, 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 blah. Teddy Bridgewater, ooh, Josh Dobbs, what, the Pastronaut, true freshman for Tennessee. Um, Jordan Lynch. Okay, cool. Taysom Hill. What? Who's leading for passing touchdowns? Teddy Bridgewater, Matt Johnson, Taylor, Marcus Mariota with twelve or thirteen. Nice. So rushing. Let's go back to yardage. Wow. Yards. Cruz Ganabe. With 896 from Nevada. Carlos Hyde at 804. Anthony Lacoste, Air Force, 800. Kenny Harper. James White, injured, but he already had 10 touchdowns. That sucks. Dree Archer, bro. The freaking speed demon, bro. Antonio Andrews. Charles Sims, Jay Warren, hmm. Blankenship, Trey Mason, Bishop Sankley, hey, what's up? TJ Yeldon with 517. Doesn't look like there's much else. Let's go rushing touchdowns storm johnson tied and he's not injured 10 rushing touchdowns jared lawson kelvin york duke johnson hello Devonte freeman okay matt jones with seven gator gator great actually i think he was really good mike davis braxton miller I think that's the first quarterback I've seen in the he's got 396 yards rushing six rushing touchdowns that's crazy let's go receiving here 630 for Bryce um, Tommy Schuler Kevin Norwood 525 Devonte Parker 497 um, Not seeing anybody. 
Jordy Nelson? Or no, that's not Jordy. That would have been a long time ago. Jamarcus Nelson. Knowles. Jordan Matthews. Okay. 40, uh, 403. Um, let's go receiving touchdowns. Eight tied between Jeremy Gallon and Bruce Ellington. Cool. Ugh. Jeremy Johnson. Devontae Parker with six. Jordan Matthews with five. Blocking. A bunch of Taylor Deckers going crazy with the pancakes. Defensively, total tackles, Carl Butler, Deontay Skinner. Um, not seeing Ryan Shazier. Okay. Ooh, Kawan Alexander, 42. Who's leading solos? Deontay Skinner, Trent Murphy, James Manuel. Okay. We got Bud Dupree. Hey. He was only at 76 overall as a junior. That's crazy. Assisted tackles, delay. Okay. TFLs is going to Anthony Chickalo. Oh, Chickalo. And then Stefan Tuitt, just behind him with 16. Deontay Skinner. Okay. Hummingbird. Jesus. Carl Butler. Ed Stinson with 13. Um, all right, let's go sacks. Seven and a half for Anthony Ciccolo. Um... Not seeing, bro. Where is uh the only ninety nine in the country? C J Mosley with three and a half. Bro, where? Hold on, I gotta go. See where this dude is. I must have. I had to have passed him. Well, he doesn't play for Texas A and M, so that would make a lot of sense. South Carolina. Jadavion Clowney only has two and a half sacks. That's insane. Let's go interceptions. Five for Javon Neal. Darian Parms. Stephon Batts. Aaron Foster. Okay. Ryan Murphy. Jason Verrett with three. Bluey with three. Okay. Vernon Hargreaves with three. Nice. True freshman, 88. Nice. James Manuel. Um, longest interception return. 94 for RJ. Pass deflections. 12 for Vernon. Oh, yeah. Love to see that. Let's go. Forced fumbles. 3 for Will Clark. Tied for 3 with a bunch of them. Jason Whitman. Ugh. Telvin Smith. Corey Nelson. Waylon Dancer. Henry Coley, Bumble Recoveries, two for Kelly, two for Jake Salond. Um, any field goal blocks, two for LJ, Jesus. Quandre, Quandre Diggs, nice. Safeties, a few, nice. Xavier Boyd, Jonathan Brown, and Anthony Hitchinson. H Hitchens. Defensive touchdowns, <laughs> Ricardo Allen already has two. Jamerson Love. Jason Whittingham, nice. Horse Miller, Javon Marshall, Noah Spence, nice. Josiah Perry, bro, Ohio State has to have one of the best defenses in the country, bro. There's a lot of y'all. Clinton Dix got a defensive touchdown, nice. Vernon Hargraves, too, bro, that's crazy. And it was a pick six, too, because there ain't no... Wait. Yeah, it was pick six. Um, Nothing... Dang, a lot of y'all got some defensive touchdowns, bro. All right, we're not looking through all that. Kicking. 
Who's got the longest kick? Um, long. Here we go. 54 yard by Matthew Sims. I don't see anybody that I know off the rip. Chris Boswell, 49 yarder. Punts. Sean Kelly. Or no, Zach Paul, Sean Kelly. McPherson. I wonder if he's related. That's just got to be a kicking name, bro. Kick returns. A bunch. 582 by... That just means y'all get scored on a lot, bro. That's not nothing to be proud of. Marcus Sullivan. Brandon, Bur Brandon Burks. Terrence Timmons. Nobody of notoriety. Punt returns. A few... Philly Brown, okay. Ryan Burpabrink, whatever. Let's go check out some of the um, recruits. All right, so a few of these players have already committed. Well, it's a lot more than a few, but we're only going to do notable players. So top 10 or if they were, you know, a somebody. So number six quarterback in the 2014 class was Gerard Hurd out of Denton, Texas. He originally committed to Texas, but now he is going to be playing for Notre Dame. So the number eight running back in the class was Rock Thomas. He originally committed to Auburn, but he is now going to North Carolina. All right, so the number one receiver in the class of 2014 was Speedy Noyle. He originally committed to Texas A&M, but he is now going to FSU. Ew. The number three receiver in the class of 2014 was Malachi Dupree. He was committed to LSU, but he's going to Arkansas now. The number six receiver in the class of 2014 was Josh Malone. He committed to Tennessee, but he's going to Michigan now. The number 11 receiver in the class was Cam Sims. He originally committed to Alabama. He's going to Arizona now. All right, a real notable player here. So the 41st wide receiver in the class of 2014 was Debo Samuel. Originally committed to South Carolina, but he is now taking his talents to USF. So for tight ends, the number three tight end was Marvin Saunders originally committed to FSU he is now going to Kentucky the number five tight end was Nick Wearshar originally committed to Notre Dame now going to Texas A&M the number eight tight end was KC Crosby originally committed to South Carolina now going to Northwestern so the number two tackle was Brian Wallace, originally committed to Arkansas, now committed to Ole Miss. The number 10 offensive tackle was David Sharp, originally committed to the Florida Gators, now committed to FAU. A real downgrade if you ask me. The 53rd tackle was Taven Bryan, originally committed to the Florida Gators as well, now committed to Ohio. The number one guard, in the class was Rod Taylor, originally committed to Ole Miss, now committed to FSU. The number seven guard was Brandon Smith, committed to Auburn, now committed to USC. The number nine guard was Isaiah Wynn, originally committed to Georgia, now committed to Ohio State. The number one center in the class was JC Hasenayer, originally committed to Alabama and still going to Alabama. That's our first one like that. The number two center was Brian Allen, originally committed to Michigan State, now going to Ohio State. The number four center was Dalton Risner, originally going to Kansas State, now going to Stanford. Good for him. The number eight center was Eric Gallo, originally going to Virginia Tech, now going to Arizona State. At 10, we had Coleman Thomas, originally went to Tennessee, now going to Oklahoma. The number one defensive end 
in the class of 2014 was Miles Garrett, originally committed to Texas A&M, now committed to Florida State, unfortunately. The number three defensive end was Lorenzo Carter, originally committed to Georgia, now committed to Boise State. Number four was Chad Thomas, originally committed to Miami, now committed to Nebraska. At number six, we had Solomon Thomas, originally committed to Stanford, now going to Arkansas. At 10, we had Jesse Annie Bonamim. I don't know how to say this. I'm going to be real with y'all. Originally committed to Maryland, now going to USF. At number 20, we had DeAndre Clark, originally committed to LSU, now going to Toledo. So the number one defensive tackle was Andrew Brown, originally committed to Virginia, now committed to Alabama. The number two was Thomas Hawley, originally committed to the Florida Gators, now committed to Tennessee. Number three was Matt Elam, originally committed to Kentucky, now committed to Louisville. Number six was Josiah Frazier, originally committed to Alabama, now committed to Washington. Number nine was Brian Moan, originally committed to Michigan, now going to USC. Number 10 was Bijan Jackson, originally committed to Arkansas, now going to Oregon State. The number one outside linebacker was Rashawn Evans, originally committed to Alabama, now committed to Auburn. Number three was Christian Miller, originally committed to Alabama as well, now committed to Penn State. Number five was Jacob Pua Pug? I don't know. Florida State, originally, now USC. Number nine was Kyle Berger, originally committed to Ohio State, now going to Arkansas. Number 25, Chase Winovich, originally committed to Michigan, now going to Michigan State. That's interesting. The number four inside linebacker was Zach Whitley, committed to UCLA, but now committed to LSU. The number nine Inside linebacker was Sean Dion Hamilton, originally committed to Alabama, now going to USC. Number 10 was Gavin Bryant, originally committed to Tennessee, now going to Arizona. The fourth corner in the class of 2014 was Adoree Jackson, originally committed to USC, now going to South Carolina. At number 6, we had Marshawn Lattimore, originally committed to Ohio State, now going to Arkansas. This, this is definitely where the recruits get interesting at corner. All right, so the number one free safety was Quinn Blanding, originally committed to Virginia Tech, now committed to USC. Number four was CJ Hampton, originally committed to Ole Miss, now South Carolina. Number five was Todd Kelly Jr., originally committed to Tennessee, now committed to Ohio State. At number 15... We had Jermaine Pratt, originally committed to NC State, now committed to Stanford. At number 18, we had John Battle, out of LSU, now committed to Duke. Number 6 was J.K. Scott, originally committed to Alabama, now Tennessee. The number 2 athlete was Jalen Hurd, originally committed to Tennessee, now committed to Alabama. So that is going to be all of the recruits for the midway point. Let's sim to the end of the season. All right, guys. So Alabama is ranked number one again. That's uh, in typical Alabama fashion. Let's go check out some of the top 25. So as previously mentioned, Alabama one, Ohio State two, Louisville three, Texas four, Baylor five, Florida State six. So it does not look like they're going to be playing... Um, in the national championship this year so that's already different uh as in the real 2013 2014 season oregon oklahoma georgia at 10 they lost to georgia tech that's crazy uh tcu texas a&m wow ucf used to be the number two team in the country that is insane they lost to usf though texas a&m at 14 um, Wisconsin dropped down pretty nicely. And era or Arkansas State rounds out the top 25. 
at 25. There is still one more week to go with uh, like Cincinnati playing the number three team in the country, Oklahoma versus Oklahoma State. Um, Baylor versus Texas is going to be a nice one. Uh, wow. And then Louisville versus Cincinnati. Yeah, that's good. There's going to be a, a pretty interesting set of games this week. But let's uh, check out the Heisman contenders. All right, so it looks like the front runner is going to be Logan Thomas for Virginia Tech. 300 yards passing, four touchdowns, and 80 yards rushing in the last game is not bad at all. Taj Boyd at two, Johnny at three, Storm Johnson at four, and then Braxton Miller at five. Uh, we have a bunch of award semifinalists, too, to look at. All right, so for the Maxwell, Logan Thomas is obviously the front runner for that. Johnny is in there. Trey Mason, Taj, uh, Jordan Lynch, TJ Yeldon makes it in at nine. Pretty cool. Uh, Braxton Miller at 12. The Walter Camp, Logan Thomas. Wow, Logan was just the the beast of the year for this year. Jeez. Um, Johnny at four. TJ at six. Uh, Storm, Braxton Miller at 11. What about the Benedart? Ben, Ben, Bednark. I'm going to be real. I don't know how to say it, bro. Deontay Skinner at one. Trent Murphy, uh, James Manuel, Stephon Tuitt, Jr. Okay. 96 overall as a junior. Uh, Thomas Gordon, uh, Devon Kennard. Kennard, Leonard Williams. He got hurt, though. He still makes it at 12. That's crazy. The Nagarski, Deontay Skinner at 1. Chickalo at 2. Um, Leonard Williams still ends up at top 5. That's crazy. Trent Murphy, J.R. Collins, Donnie Bags, CJ at 10. Nice. He's a senior, though. Uh, and then Jonathan Newsom rounds it out. The O'Brien, Keith Price, is actually ahead of Logan Thomas for a uh, quarterback award. Johnny Manziel at three, AJ at four, Nick Marshall, Clint Shelf. Never heard of that guy in my life. Um... Teddy Bridgewater at 12, and then Stephen Morris at, uh, or Teddy Bridgewater at 11, Stephen Morris at 12. The Walker, TJ Yeldon is probably going to end up the best running back in the country. Trey Mason, Antonio Andrews, Storm, Melvin Gordon, that's the first we're seeing of this guy. Sophomore, Wisconsin. Kadeem Carey, hello. Darius Staten, Charles Ross, Dre Archer at 9, okay. He's got to be 99 speed, right? Can we check his attributes? 99 speed, 99 acceleration. Yeah, he's one of the fastest college athletes of all time. Mike Davis, hello. Uh, and then Carlos Hyde rounds it out at 12. The Blint Blintinikoff. Uh, these names are crazy, bro. Devontae Parker at 1. Okay, cool. Mike Davis at 2. Jalen Saunders, Sammy Coates, yo, throwback, Sammy Coates, um, okay, Sammy Watkins at 8, Josh Stewart, Mike Evans at 10, okay, uh, Bruce Ellington, that sounds familiar, he only had 456 yards though. The Mackey, Ryan Malik, is going to probably be the best tight end in the country. Arthur Lynch, nice. Max Williams. Crockett Gilmore, that is an insane name. Blake Anan, Alex Bayer, Xavier Grimble at 8. OJ Howard at 9. Um, and that is going to be it for the tight ends. The Outland, Jake Matthews, obviously. 98 overall, dang. Mason Walters, 
Greg Robinson. Okay, cool. Uh, Richardson, Cyrus. Wow, Alabama had some of the best offensive linemen in the country here. Um, Anthony Steen, Andrew Norwell, uh, and then Taylor Lu Luan. Oh, that's the dude that played for the Titans, isn't it? He got a podcast, right? Dang, okay, cool. The Remington center is going to be FSU, Brian Stork, Corey Lindsay, Lindsley. Um, we know any more of these guys? Uh, well, obviously, Jonathan Harrison. He rounds it out at 12 for the Gators. The Lombardi is going to Chicolo. Stephon Tuitt at 2. Leonard Williams. Um, who else? Newsom. Jonathan Newsom. And then Kyle Rose. The Butkus. Skinner. Um, Anthony Barr. Hello. Okay, cool. UCLA product. 98 overall. Damn. Jordan Jenkins. Okay. And then FSU's Telvin Smith rounds it out at 12. The Thorpe is going to go to probably Keyshawn Jarrett, Thomas Gordon, um, Quandre Diggs, probably the best corner. Like, whoa, whoa, Jordan. Is that Jordan Whitehead? Oh, I thought it was Jordan Whitehead for a second. Quandre Diggs, he's, he's really good. Um, IRL. LaMarcus Joyner. Cool. 5'8", though. You're a small dude. LaMarcus Joyner rounds it out at 12 for the Thorpe. The Graza. Probably Texas's Anthony Fiera. Cody Parkey at 2. Um, anybody else? Nope. The guy, Pat O'Donnell. Nice. And that's probably all the punters that I would know out of this. And then the best return man is going to be Odell Beckham Jr. That's kind of a surprise that he didn't even make it into the receiving. I mean, he, he'll probably end up there next year. He'll be a, like a high 90s next year. Odell Beckham Jr. probably going to win the Jet. Uh, we got... Who's that? Isaiah Burse. Stacy Cooley. David Dudek, Bernard Reedy, Nelson Aguilar. Okay, sophomore out of Tampa, Florida. Philly Brown, and then Javis Blue. Okay, so that's going to be all the awards. Let's check out. Well, actually, that's we still have one more week, so we're going to sim to the next week, and then we're going to check out stats. All right, so at the end of the season, Alabama is playing number nine Georgia in the SEC championship game. We're going to check out stats, and then we're actually going to look at all the conference championship games and sim them in front of you so we can get the conference champions up front, and then we'll go into the bowl week. So the MAC championship game, Toledo versus Buffalo. Let's go sim it. So the MAC champion of 2014 is going to be Toledo. They destroyed Buffalo 35-7. to The Central USA Championship game, ECU versus Rice. Let's see who wins. So Rice takes out ECU to become the Central USA champions. So Fresno State versus Utah State for the Mountain West Championship game. And Utah State becomes the Mountain West champions 38-24 to over Fresno. Then we got Clemson versus Virginia Tech. For the ACC championship, Virginia Tech has that uh, Heisman hopeful. And Clemson actually takes the win, winning the ACC over Virginia Tech 33-21. to For the Pac-12, we have Washington versus Arizona. And Arizona takes out number 7, Washington, 29-24. to And the Big Ten championship game. Michigan State versus Ohio State. Let's see it. And Ohio State barely gets out alive, but they take the Big Ten 33-30 over Michigan State. All right, and finally, we have Alabama versus Georgia. 
for the long-awaited SEC championship game. Alabama needs it. They lose, they're out probably. So it's actually hidden, unfortunately. I guess it just simmed into the next week. But Taj Boyd jumps Thomas from Virginia Tech. I'm sure it's because of that loss in the conference championship game. It, I mean, Clemson won and Virginia Tech lost. It, it, that had to have been it. Taj Boyd wins the Heisman. And I guess this answers our question. Alabama must have lost the SEC championship game because we're playing number 11 UCF in the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl. So we lost to Georgia. So the national championship game is going to be Baylor versus Ohio State. Pretty different from real life as Florida State was the winner of that one. And Florida State's not even close to the contention. But uh, we're actually going to jump into this game and watch it. All right, here we go. Ohio State versus Baylor. Drop in the comments who y'all think is going to take it. I personally think it's going to be Ohio State. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Their defense is dominant, bro. All right, let's hop into the sim. All right, Ohio State takes over. First and 10 from their 25. You got Braxton Miller, Carlos Hyde. He's going to throw it, though. but He's going to take off, though. Hold on now. Braxton Miller. Oh, my God. He hit him with a fucking insane juke. First play of the game, Braxton Miller takes it for 21 yards. And they're going to go hurry up. They're going to go hurry up. Hold on. Get them on their toes real quick. It's going to be an option play. Braxton Miller using his legs to absolutely slice and dice Baylor's defense. I don't know. They might not be good enough to keep up with these uh, Ohio State boys. They're going hurry up again. Let's see it. He drops back to pass. He doesn't see anybody. I mean, he had a guy right in front of him, but he's going to use his feet. He breaks a tackle. He almost breaks another one. He takes it for another huge gain. 19 yards for Braxton Miller. He's 3 for 48 on the day already. Braxton is going crazy on the opening drive. It's been nothing but him so far. Drops back to pass. He's going to run it again. He said, fine, I'll do it myself. And he fumbles. He does all that just to fumble in the red zone. Braxton Miller does all that just to fumble in the red zone. So we're going to be... Watching Ohio State come out here on defense now. They got some notable players. Baylor does too, though. We'll see what they can do here. He throws it to... That looked like an offensive lineman. Was it not? It must have been a tight end screen. Jordan Navar. But Bryce Petty is the quarterback for Baylor today. Looks like they're going to hurry up too, though. He hands it off. He gets to the outside. I mean, he, he's got. Oh, he breaks a tackle. It brings up third and three. Lace C strunk for a seven yard gain. Pretty nice. They're going to go hurry up again, though. What's up with all the hurry up today? Third and three. They're going to try to pick this up here. It's a screen play. C strunk gets the first down. Barely, but he gets it. Five-yard reception for him. And they're going to hurry up again. It might just be a simulation thing. I don't know. But I like it. They're changing the play up, it looks like. They're running an option play. And he gets taken down in the backfield. Bryce Petty tackled by Joshua Perry. That's the first TFL of the day for Ohio State's defense. You go second and 12. This Ohio State defense coming out in a 3-4 package. Baylor under center. Looks like they're going to hand it off. And he gets whacked in the backfield again. Ryan Shazier that time. Big linebacker for them. He had a great season. Here we go. Third and 14. Baylor needs to pick this up if they want to continue this drive. Obviously, what the fuck am I talking about? They're going to run another screen. Seastrunk gets it. He's not going anywhere. 
He only gets a four-yard reception. Fourth and ten coming. Ohio State's getting that ball back. All right. Ohio State coming back out. They're back all the way back in their own territory again because of Braxton Miller's incompetence. He's just Mr. Ball Hog. I'm not going to lie. Five for 67, though. That's kind of insane. Second and six. They're hurrying up here. Maybe hand the ball off to Carlos Hyde once or twice. Oh, he gets a little quick slant route over the middle. Chris Fields with a 21-yard reception. That's the first time he actually threw the ball, and it was not bad. Not bad at all. It would be crazy if we could see one of those uh, spin cycles he's very, very, very well known for. But he gets smacked in the backfield for a negative three yards. Chris McAllister with the TFL. Here we go. They're coming back out. We got trips to the left. They're going to throw it, but he's going to take off because that's just what he does. He breaks a tackle, and he gets the first down. No yardage is too much for the great Braxton Miller. You know, something's telling me he's going to be an extreme asset at quarterback in the NFL for sure. It's not like they'll change his position because, you know, he gets another receiver over the middle. Devin Smith this time, 18-yard reception. Not bad at all. Braxton's two for two. 39 yards. He's got 600,000 yards rushing, though, today. Drops back for another pass, and he gets a tight end who gets a little push. That gets him eight yards, Jeff Hewerman. Nice little play there. They're going to hurry up here. Here we go. Looks like a little, uh, looks gonna, probably going to be a run here. And it is Braxton Miller up the middle. He's going to score the first touchdown of the day. Who else? Braxton Miller, 12-yard rushing touchdown. Ohio State goes up. All right, Baylor comes out on offense looking to maybe tie it up here. They go up the middle, and they don't go nowhere. Seastrunk is destroyed. By Adolphus Washington. That is a crazy name. Here we go. They need to get something going if they hope to compete here. Braxton Miller is on his Sonic the Hedgehog stuff today, man. They get a little quick pass over the middle. Not good enough. Third and seven. Antoine Goodley with that last catch. I bet they are missing RG3 right now. He's the only one that could compete with Braxton Miller's legs. Baylor. Terrible pass, Bryce Petty. What was that? Fourth and seven, end of the first quarter. Looks like Ohio State is going to end up taking the ball back again here. I don't know, man. Baylor's looking tough. Having a tough game, at least. All right, here we go. Second quarter starting. Ohio State has the ball. He pitches it out to Carlos Hyde. Carlos Hyde gets a nice gain of 10 yards. Just an automatic first down for them. They're going to go hurry up, though. Let's see Braxton Miller complete a few more passes this drive. That'd be nice to see, wouldn't it? He's going to hand it off to Carlos Hyde again. He gets some space. He stiff arms somebody to hell and back. 12 yards for Carlos Hyde on that carry. 2 for 22 for him. They're going to go hurry up again. What's new? I don't know. Is Braxton Miller going to lead Ohio State to a national championship? He gets a jet sweep that gets sniffed out very easily. Devin Smith, negative 2-yard rush. Chris McAllister with another TFL. Here we go. 2nd and 12. Braxton Miller looking to, oh, nice little draw play. Carlos Hyde with seven yards, third and four. Going hurry up here. Probably looking to use Braxton Miller's feet here, if not his arm. 
and his arm is a little bit too powerful. He had two guys wide open, but he misses them. Fourth and four, let's see what they do here. So they had to punt it away because of a penalty. I mean, it was from the 38 anyway. It would have been a crazy field goal. So Baylor takes over. Bryce Petty hands it off to Seastrunk. He gets a nice little gain of five yards. Let's see if they go hurry up here. They do. Bryce Petty definitely needs to get some uh, consistency going with his arm if he wants to uh, compete here. But they're going to hand it off again. Seastrunk ends up picking up the first down with a six-yard scamper. Call him Tree Trunk right from now on. They're going to hurry up again. Might we see a pass here? Looks like they're changing up the play. We are going to see a pass, and he completes it. He almost breaks that. Tevin Reese with a 28-yard reception. Baylor's sniffing back here. Uh-oh. Bryce Petty, 5 for 6. 40-something yards. Are we going to see another pass here? We are. Bryce Petty gets it to his tight end for a little gain of 11 yards. Jordan Najavar. Navarre probably. The Jays probably silent. So Bryce Petty has definitely composed himself at this point. He fakes the handoff. A little read option action. Nice little gain of seven for him. I don't know. I thought Ohio State had a, a grasp of this game, but it looks like uh, Bryce Petty has came from the back. Pause. Here we go. He drops back to pass. It's going to be a screen play. Seastrunk, they love those screen plays. He's going to take it for a huge gain. 13 yards. Like clockwork. Baylor is in the red zone now. Here we go. See if they, they, they can get another first down here, though. So just make sure you remember that. They, it looks like they got some space to this left side over here. He hands it off, though. That's a new guy. He breaks a few tackles. Damn, he was going crazy. Shock for sure. Linwood, second and four. They're going to go hurry up. We might see a backside slant here. I kind of see it. He's going to, wow, that was, what is happening? What, what was that? I have no clue what that was, guys. He, he might be getting paid off. I'm not going to lie. That looked like some selling. Third and 11, though, after that interesting play. We'll probably see a shot to the end zone here. He's going to have it, and it gets picked off. They just stripped away Baylor's opportunity for points before the halftime. Grant with a huge interception. Ohio State really needed that. And here they go, taking over from their 20. See if they can get some points before half here. Baylor does get the ball at halftime. Braxton drops back, and he gets a receiver to the outside. That's Chris Fields for an 18-yard reception. Nice little out route, potentially a corner route. Here they go. First and 10 from their 41-yard line, 42-yard line. He gets it. He gets it. He gets it over the middle. What a catch by Evan Spencer. 17 yards. Ohio State is moving now. They're on their own side of the field. They only need to go another 15, 20 yards. And they're in field goal range. Nice pickup on that outside. Braxton Miller takes off to the outside. He cuts back in. He gets a nice gain of 13. He's getting close to 100 on the day. He is over 100. 9 for 103 and a touchdown for Braxton Miller. He is definitely shaping up to be the national championship player of the game. He drops back to pass. He's not going to get it off. Or he does get it off. But he can't avoid the rush. And it's going to be second and ten. Here we go. Here's where Braxton Miller is definitely uh, tested. Is where he needs to throw the ball a lot more. He's standing in the pocket. They're not they're not even trying to come after him. And they he he makes them pay for it. Jeff Hurman, 11-yard reception, picks up the first down for Ohio State. 
They are in definite field goal range now. Knocking on the door for a touchdown, though. Braxton Miller drops back. He hits a drag route over the middle. Seven yards for Carlos Hyde. They go ahead and call their first timeout. Second and three from the nine-yard line. They're going to come out in offset formation. He fakes it. He's got Carlos Hyde to the outside. He cuts back in for some reason, and they end up getting the first down. Don't know why they spent their first down or their second timeout there. They could have just hurried up. But nonetheless, one timeout left, a minute nine in the half. They're going to come out in a pistol formation. He hands it off to Carlos Hyde up the middle. Carlos is down at the one-yard line. They're all but in that end zone. Obviously, unless there's some sort of crazy trick play that... There he goes. That's going to be Rod Smith getting Ohio State on the board for the second time. Ohio State going up 13-0, potentially 14. All right, here we go. Bryce Petty, 41 seconds left. You have three timeouts. You need to get on that board. What can you do here? A draw play. Okay. I mean, it was okay. Nine yards, C strunk. But you need to start throwing that ball down the field, guys. Here we go. Second and one. They're in spread. He drops back to pass. Bryce finds a receiver to the outside. Levi Norway for 13 yards. First and 10. Right outside the 50-yard line. What can they do here? They're in... I formation though he's gonna drop back to pass he steps up he finds a receiver down the field he's gonna go oh my goodness 38 yards for Jordan Navarre three for 50 for him on the day they're gonna go hurry up here they have 26 seconds left let's see what they can do here he's gonna take the snap he's gonna find a no he's not he drops the pass if anything, it's 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 kind of okay. It stops the clock, but still, that was a bad pass. To, man, that was really bad. But nonetheless, we're at 15-yard line. They have guaranteed points as long as they can keep the ball. He's going to hand it off up the gut. Seastrunk runs over a guy. That's seven yards. Third and three. It looks like they're going to run the... No, they're going to go hurry up here. It looks like they're probably going to take a shot to the end zone here. Can they find somebody? They can! Touchdown! The man that got him down here, Bryce Petty, leads him all the way down to go down one possession. Oh, man. That is a terrible miss. Still one possession, but you got to jump your kicker in the locker room after that. Ain't no way. All right, Baylor takes over. They drove down the field and scored last time, but their kicker sold. He might be getting something in the locker room later. Seastrunk gets it to the outside. He cuts back in, and he picks up eight yards. Second and two coming up. He's eight for 40 on the day, averaging five yards. Not bad at all. Bryce Petty goes under center here. He's going to hand it off to Seastrunk again. He gets to the outside and gets a first down. Another gain of eight. They're probably going to go hurry up here. Ohio State is getting some <laughs> insider. They're, they're, they're stealing their signals. They're looking for an outside run here. And that's exactly what happens. They, <laughs> it's not good enough, though, because he still gets a gain of six, even though they knew the play. They're going to go hurry up here. Bryce Petty is leading this team to a potential comeback. Drop in the comments now if you think they're going to succeed or not. He fakes the handoff, hits a receiver over the middle. Number 42, Levi Norwood, 17-yard reception. Baylor is driving on Ohio State now, but they do have that problem. Do they go for two or do they trust their defense and go for one? 
Got to get in the end zone first, though. And that is not helping. A tackle at the line of scrimmage. Joshua Perry gets another tackle on the day. They're reading signs again. They're watching for the option here. Somebody should uh, investigate them for that. But they jump off sides. What a drawback for them. They're shooting themselves in the foot here. It's going to be second and 15 from the 42-yard line. Here we go. Baylor from the 42. See what we can do here. He hands it off. And he gets to the outside. I mean, he should have stayed to the outside, but Shock Linwood gets five yards, and it's third and ten. Bryce Petty needs to get it here. He needs to get a completion for a first down here. Don't do no stupid up-the-gut handoffs. He drops back. He finds somebody, and it's incomplete. It looked like he had it there for a second. But he didn't come down with it. Fourth and ten. Ohio State's going to take over. Okay, I did not know they were going to go for it. Bryce Petty found Coleman for 14 yards. And they picked up a first down. So Baylor is still on the move. First and ten. Baylor doing crazy stuff. Uh, option play. Petty is doing... Weird stuff, four yards. I don't know what has been going on with him today, especially when he just stood in the backfield earlier. Bradley Roby with five tackles, not bad. You got ISO down here with number four at the bottom of your screen. He hands it off. See, uh, that's Linwood. Zero yard rush. You got third and five now. Amari, Amari, I think his name was. So. Baylor third and five. What's the play here? I'm probably hitting 42 with a slant here. Oh, look at that. Call your shot. 42, whoever that is, gets a big play. Levi Norwood, three for 47. Baylor is knocking on the door to potentially tie it up. Depends what they're going to do. Here we go. They go for a option play, and he doesn't pitch it, so Bryce Petty gets a negative four-yard rush. Noah Spence with the TFL. Bryce Petty has zero yards rushing. Second and goal from the six now. They need a touchdown. A field goal won't be enough. I have a feeling Braxton Miller and Ohio State will drive down that field, and they just shoot themselves in the foot again. They jump off sides, backing themselves up five yards once again. All right, we're five yards from where we previously were, still second and goal. Probably going to have to air this one out. They're going to run another option. Bryce Petty gets a little bit of something going there. You get right back to where you were, but now it's third and goal. They're going to go for a hurry up here. You might want to find your best receiver here. You need something. Third and goal, who do you go to? Who does Baylor go to on third and goal? They run a screen. Terrible, terrible play call. Atrocious play call. Baylor, fourth and goal. They're probably going to go for this, though. It looks like they're just going to be kicking the field goal, though. They're going to take their points. But what if they miss? And they put it up there, and they get on the board. 14-9, to they still trail. All right, here goes Ohio State. Braxton Miller leading the charge. First and 10 from the 20. He drops back to pass. He finds a receiver over the middle who gets smacked. Philly Brown for a 12-yard reception, but he kind of paid for that one at the end. Braxton Miller with some... New York numbers. Um, they're going to go hurry up here. Is that Noah Brown, number 80? Oh, wow. Option play. He flicks it out. Number 80 gets there. 
Who is that? Chris Fields with a 10-yard rush. I think I'm a little ahead of time here. Ohio State is on the move. First and 10. Almost in plus territory. He's going to fake the handoff. Read option up the middle. He's too fast. He gets the first down. They are now in plus territory. Braxton Miller, 10 carries, 114 yards, and a touchdown. Somebody go tell the probably like 13-year-old Lamar Jackson that this is your father. He hands it up the middle, and it goes kind of nowhere. Only a one-yard gain. Second and nine. Ohio State running the hurry-up offense as always. Are we going to see Carlos Hyde get a... Nope, it's going to be Braxton Miller. He goes nowhere. Another gain of just one. They need it here. They give that ball back. They could drive, out, drive down that field and take the lead over y'all. Ohio State needs it here. He hands it off up the middle. What is up with teams thinking that's a good play call? I don't understand it. But fourth and seven, they're probably going to give it back. And that is going to be the end of the third quarter as well. Ohio State up 14-9 to over number one Baylor. Put the fours up. Final quarter. Who's going to come out with the win here? All right, here we go. Beginning of the fourth quarter, Baylor takes over. They need to get a touchdown here. A field goal does not cut it. Four yards to Jay Lee. Second and six. Upcoming for Baylor. This would be an insane win for them. Especially because they have not done anything since RG3 left in real life. He's bra he bra Oh man. Over the middle to see Strunk. I was too lost for words. I thought he was going to get hammered in the backfield. But he doesn't. He gets it off to his running back. Bryce Petty is showing some composure here. He backs up. He fakes the handoff. He finds the receiver over the middle. What a strike. Tevin Reese with an eight-yard reception. Second and two. They're going to hurry up. We're getting into almost less than four minutes left in the game. Potentially after this play, Bryce Petty up the middle. Gets the first down. There was so many Ohio State Buckeyes in the area. I don't know how he didn't get tackled in the backfield there. But Curtis Grant with six tackles on the day. First and ten, they're changing up the play here. He hands it off. No, he doesn't. He fakes it. And he finds nobody. He throws it out of bounds. Second and ten coming up for Baylor. Here they go. Baylor... Needs it here. He fakes the handoff. Finds his tight end. And he gets to the 8 yards of a reception. 3rd and 2. If, if I'm them, that's exactly who I'm going to again right here. He has been clutch for y'all. They're going to change the play up. Switching the receiver to the other side. They might be going Navar here. No, they don't, and they get destroyed in the backfield. What a play by Washington. Gets the TFL. They need to go for it here, though. Huge fourth and six here. If Baylor does not convert, I mean, Ohio State all but wins it here. This is the game. He finds his receiver over the middle. They get it. They get the first down. Jay Lee, seven-yard reception, bringing up first down, but it's not over yet. They still got to get down this field and get a touchdown. Again, field goal does not cut it here. Field goal does not cut it. He hands it off. It goes for a nice little gain of seven yards. C-Strunk carrying this team kind of 12 for 61. Second and three, Baylor going and hurry up. They got trips to the left. Changing the play up, though. They drop back to pass. And it's picked off. What a mistake. And he's going to take it all the maybe not. He's going to get hawked down. No, he's not. It's a touchdown. Ohio State 
comes in clutch when they need to. Ohio State does it. Oh my God. I mean, you got a feel for Baylor. They just picked up a huge fourth down and then Bryce Petty. Oh man. And now they're just they're just killing themselves now. Offsides on the offense, just they're 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 all but defeated at this point. They're gonna need a handful of miracles if they're gonna do anything in this game. Down by a considerable amount. He finds a receiver over the middle. You're going to have to be getting a lot more yards than that, guys. Antoine Goodley gets a nice reception. Bryce Petty has been decent on the day. 20 for 26, 222 yards is not laughable numbers, but those two interceptions are. He's, oh man, he's going to get sacked. Bryce Petty just... At a loss for words for his game performance right now. It's third and four. They need to complete this here. If they don't get it, it's a, a tough fourth down. I think I said earlier in the season, Ohio State looks like they have one of the best defenses in the country. And they proved me right with a huge third down sack. Josiah Perry bringing up fourth and 11. And this is the biggest fourth and 11 that Baylor has ever faced potentially. They don't get it here. This is game for them. This is game. And that is a first down. Way to stay alive. Tevin Reese gets the first down. Baylor stays slightly alive. What's going to happen here? They need, like I said, a handful of miracles. Are they going to get them? No, they are not. Christian Bryant gets a deflection. Second and ten. Show what you can do here, Bryce. You're going under center. Probably not where you want to be with this pass rush. Are they running it? No, okay. He throws it over the middle, and it's almost picked off. I thought it was picked off for a second. Third and ten. You're just digging yourselves into a hole. Here we go. Third and ten for Bryce Petty and the Baylor Bears. He drops back and he hands it off. What was that? Fourth and 11. Atrocious play call. You just... That was that was a coach that needs to be fired play call. You don't want to win this game with that kind of play call. He's going to find a receiver and he overthrows him. He was open for a touchdown too. Bryce Petty sells. Ohio State's going to end up winning this game. Congratulations to the Ohio State Buckeyes. You are now, let's get there. Congratulations to the Ohio State Buckeyes. You are now the 2013-2014 national champions. Play of the game for sure, Reeves with the huge pick six. But Braxton Miller, I mean, he won this game with his legs for sure. Over 115 yards rushing. If he's not the player of the game, I don't know who is. But, I mean, hey, great game. Ohio State deserved it, and they won it. Good stuff, Buckeyes. And congratulations, honestly, to Baylor making it back here, too. Not bad. Braxton Miller, player of the game, 116 yards passing. A couple hundred, or a hun over 100 rushing, too. There they are. Phenomenal season, but let's get into the recruits. Real quick, let's take a look at the final stats after all the bowl games. A.J. McCarron, obviously 3,566 yards, leads in yards. Keith Price, Blake Bortles, Brandon Daughtry, Taj Boyd, the Heisman winner, Logan Thomas, Garrett Gilbert, Aaron Murray, Derek Carr, Johnny Menzel, Teddy Bridgewater, what about passing touchdowns, 36 to Keith Price. He ends up winning the uh, an, uh, the QB award. Teddy Bridgewater with 35. A.J. McCarron with 35. Marcus Mariota with 31. Logan Thomas, 29. Johnny Mazzell, 28. 
about rushing. The rushing title is going to Cruz Gongabe with 1,800, almost 1,900 yards rushing. Kenny Harper. Y'all think anybody's ever going to get close to Barry Sanders' record? I think he ran for like 2,100 yards. Maybe we'll see it sometime in one of these sims. Melvin Gordon with 1691 with 16 rushing touchdowns. Um, Carlos Hyde, 1581 for 12. TJ, 1486 for 14. Trey Mason, nice season. Alonzo Harris, did uh, QB end up in the thousands? Kenyon Drake, 1,194, 12 touchdowns. Insane numbers, dude. DeAnthony Thomas, 15 rushing touchdowns, 1,100 yards. I'm looking for um, Braxton Miller. Johnny Menzel goes over 1,000 for seven. Braxton Miller... Six yards away, that sucks. But he has 15 rushing touchdowns. He he kind of deserved the Heisman, I'm not going to lie. He kind of got snubbed. Almost 1,000 yards rushing, 15 rushing touchdowns, and a bunch of passing touchdowns and yards to go with that. Receiving the title is going to go to Mike Davis, Devontae 2, Kevin Norwood at 3. Wow. Nine touchdowns, 15 receiving touchdowns for Devontae Parker. Um, Brashad Perriman, 11 for six. Stephon Diggs, nice season. Um, Sammy Watkins is up here, over 1,000. Not that many 1,000 yarders. It's pretty interesting. Defensively, Steven Jenkins. Wait, what? This seems. What's his name had 120? This is definitely probably bugged. That was a double entendre. Stephen Jenkins, Carl Butler, Trent Murphy, Bam Bamfo, Jesus, uh, Anthony Barr over a hundred, nice. And then Marquez Flowers, TFLs thirty-two, award winner Skinner. Hey, yo, that was a sick name. Marcus Rush, C.J. Mosley. McKenzie, Otis, what about sacks? Ten and a half. Wow, okay. Interceptions, Derek Wells ends with seven. Nice. Um, nothing else. Jason Verrett, good on him. Deflections, still goes to Vernon Hargroves. So he, he better be in the... Mid 90s, honestly, next year. 23 deflections, 5 interceptions, 2.5 sacks, 10 TFLs, 52 total tackles. That is insane numbers. All American, 1 field goal block, 2 defensive touchdowns, 3 for Darquez Dinard. Denard. Dinard? What am I talking about? Um, furthest kick, who had it? The furthest field goal this season was a 56 by Cade Foster by Alabama. Cool. Kick returns. Furthest kick return was 104 yards by Terrence Timmons. And Ja'Cory Shepard had two. And Terrence Timmons had two. Um, anybody have three? No. Most kick return yards, Ja'Cory. Punt return yards, it's going to be Hardy. Most Well, everybody tied with one. Jordan Thompson, a bunch of probably fast people. Sam Miller. All right, so that's going to be the stats. We're going to look over now after the final phase of recruiting, all notable players and where they're going. All right, so the number one quarterback in the class was Kyle Allen, originally committed to Texas A&M, now going to Nebraska. Number two was Keller Christ, 
Originally committed to Stanford, now going to Vanderbilt. Nice pickup for them. Number three was David Cornwell. Originally committed to Alabama, now going to Pitt. Number four was Will Greer. Originally committed to the Gators, now going to Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt picks up two top five quarterbacks. That's crazy. Number five was Clayton Thorson, originally committed to Northwestern, now committed to, I believe that's Ball State. Number seven was, here we go, Deshaun Watson, originally committed to Clemson, now committed to Oklahoma State. Number eight was Sean White, originally committed to Auburn, now committed to to Mississippi State. Number nine was Jacob Park, originally committed to Georgia, now going to Ohio. And number 10 was Brad Kaya, originally committed to Miami, now Illinois. So a few more notable players. Deshaun Kaiser, at 14, originally committed to Notre Dame, now going to Boise State. At number 27, Mason Rudolph, originally committed to Oklahoma State, now going to Purdue. At number 34, Quentin Flowers, originally committed to USF, now going to Texas. And oh, you all love him. Number 37, Trace McSorley. Trace McSorley, throw it on a dime. Originally committed to Penn State, now committed to whoever the fuck that is. And here we go, probably the biggest change in the entire 2014 class. Number 47, Patrick Mahomes, originally committed to Texas Tech, now going to Texas A&M. So the number one running back in the class was Leonard Fournette, originally committed to LSU, now committed to Texas. Number two, was Dalvin Cook, originally committed to FSU, now going to LSU. Number three was Royce Freeman, originally committed to Oregon, now going to Oklahoma. Number four, Nick Chubb, originally committed to Georgia, now going to Tennessee. Number five, Joe Mixon, originally committed to Oklahoma, now going to Wisconsin. Number six, Jeff Jones, originally committed to Minnesota, now going to Boston College. Number seven, Sony Michelle, originally committed to Georgia, now going to Miami. Number nine, big one here, Christian McCaffrey, originally committed to Stanford, now committed to Pitt. Number ten, Elijah Hood, originally committed to North Carolina, now going to Penn State. Some Notable ones here, 18, Samaj Pirine, originally committed to Oklahoma, now committed to Ohio State. Number 29, Boom Williams, originally committed to Kentucky, now going to Wake Forest. Then 84, Dearness Johnson, originally committed to USF, now going to UAB. And then number 92, Rashad Penny, originally committed to San Diego State now going to Buffalo. And then number 98, Dante Foreman, originally committed to Texas, now committed to Western Kentucky. Number two was Travis Rudolph, originally committed to FSU, now committed to Alabama. Number four, Ermon Lane, originally committed to FSU, now committed to UCLA. Number five, K.D. Cannon, originally committed to Baylor, now committed to Arkansas. Number seven, Johnny Dixon, originally committed to Ohio State, now committed to Missouri. Number eight, Justin Brent, originally committed to Notre Dame, now committed to Oklahoma. Number nine, Alan Lazard, originally committed to Iowa State, now committed to Western Kentucky. And then number 10, Cam Sims, 
originally committed to Alabama, now committed to Notre Dame. Here's an interesting one. Was originally a wide receiver, but at 18, Mark Andrews committed to Oklahoma, but is now committed to Navy. And then 19 was Paris Campbell, originally committed to Ohio State, now committed to Illinois. Number 23 was Isaiah McKenzie, originally committed to Georgia, now committed to Alabama. A huge one here, a huge one. 28, Terry McLaurin, Ohio State product, now committed to the Gators. Another big one here, 34, Chris Godwin, originally committed to Penn State, now committed to Oregon. At number 70, DJ Chark, originally LSU, now Temple. The number one tight end was Mike Gesicki, originally committed to Penn State, now Nebraska. Number two was Bryce Dixon, originally committed to USC, now Georgia Southern. That was a crazy pickup for them. Number four, Dalton Schultz, originally Stanford, now Texas A&M. Number six, Ian Bunting, originally Michigan, now Georgia. Number seven, Tyler Luato, Luatua, originally Notre Dame, now the Raging Cajuns. Number nine, Ryan Izzo, originally FSU, now Iowa. And then number 10, Jeb Blazovich, originally Georgia, now Oregon. Some notable ones, Drew Sample, originally Washington, now Nevada. At 66, it was Montez Sweat, originally Michigan State, now Louisville, but he switched to defensive end in college. The number one tackle was Cam Robinson, originally committed to Alabama, now committed to Ohio State. Number three, Damian Prince, originally Maryland, now USC. Number four, Jaden Golt, originally Wisconsin, now Georgia Tech. Number five, Casey McDermott, originally Miami, now FSU. Six, Quentin Nelson, originally Notre Dame, now Texas A&M. Seven, Jamarco Jones, originally Ohio State, now Notre Dame. Eight, Brentley Spain, originally North Carolina, now Oregon. Number nine, Trevor Darling, Miami, now Ohio State. And ten, David Sharp, originally Florida Gators, now FAU. Some notable ones here. 28, Orlando Brown, originally Oklahoma, now Air Force. 31, Frank Ragnow, originally Arkansas, now Notre Dame. 2 was Damian Mama, originally USC, now FSU. Number 3 was Garrett Broomfield, originally LSU, now Texas. Number 4 was Mason Cole, originally Michigan, now Cal. Number 5 was Donnell Stanley, originally South Carolina, now Oklahoma State. Six was Vianney Talamavio, originally USC, now Texas A&M. Eight was Toyo Labondian, originally USC, now Auburn. And ten was Demetrius Knox, originally Ohio State, now Ole Miss. Number three, Josiah Kasher. Originally Alabama, now Boston College. Five, Terrell Cooney. Originally Texas, now South Carolina. Six, Alec Eberly. Originally FSU, now Fresno. Seven, Alik Terry. Originally Wake Forest, now TCU. Nine, Connor Mays. Originally Minnesota, now Tennessee. Number two, was Deshaun Hand, originally Alabama, now Florida Gators. Five was Malik McDowell, originally Michigan State, now FSU. Seven, Jalen Holmes, originally Ohio State, now FSU. Eight, Nefe Lavallo, originally Vanderbilt, 
now Tennessee. Nine, Andrew Trumbetti, originally Notre Dame, now USC. Some notable ones, 29, Derek Barnett, originally Tennessee, now Virginia Tech. 32, David Gudach, originally LSU, now Western Kentucky. 33, DeAndre Clark, originally LSU, now Oregon. Number four, Gerald Willis, originally Florida Gators, now Alabama. Five, Trevante Valentine, originally LSU, now Notre Dame. Seven, Dexter Wilderman, originally South Carolina, now Texas. Eight, Derek Nandi, originally FSU, now Syracuse. Number two was Dante Booker, originally Ohio State, now Stanford. Four, Clifton Garrett, originally LSU, now Oklahoma. Six, Bryson Allen Williams, originally South Carolina, now Stanford. Seven, Dylan Bates, originally Tennessee, now Oklahoma. Eight, Ronnie Clark, originally Alabama, now USC. And ten, Bobby Ukirike, originally Stanford, now South Carolina. Number 25, Chase Winovich, originally Michigan, now Michigan State. Number 47, Bradley Chubb, originally NC State, now BYU. Here's a big one. 57, Fred Warner, originally BYU, now Wisconsin. The number one middle linebacker was Trey Williams, originally Auburn, now Michigan State. Two was Raquan McMillan, originally Ohio State, now Texas A&M. Three was Niles Morgan, originally Notre Dame, now Northwestern. Five, Delvin Prefoy, originally FSU, now Oklahoma State. Six, Kane Daub, originally FSU, now Wisconsin. Seven, Michael Furness, originally Michigan, now Michigan State. Eight, Kenny Young, originally UCLA, now Alabama. The number one corner was Marlon Humphrey, originally Alabama, now Texas. Two was Tony Brown, originally Alabama, now Florida Gators. Three was Tez Tabor, originally Florida Gators, now North Carolina. Five was Damon Webb, originally Ohio State, now Auburn. Seven, Aaron Springs, originally Oregon, now UCLA. Eight, Nick Ruffin, originally Auburn, now Michigan. Nine, Malcolm Parrish, originally Georgia, now South Carolina. And ten, Stephen Roberts, originally Auburn, now Washington. Some notable here, 38, Duke Dawson, originally Florida Gators, now Indiana. The number two safety was Eric Smith, originally Ohio State, now Marshall. Three was Ed Paris, originally LSU, now North Carolina. Six, Trey Marshall, originally FSU, now LSU. And here's a big one. Seven is going to be Jamal Adams, originally LSU, now South Carolina. And then eight, Hootie Jones, originally Alabama, now Wisconsin. And then nine is going to be Jaleel Woodood, originally UCLA, now Ohio State. And then 10, Cortez McDowell, originally Tennessee, now Wake Forest. Some notable, the 15th ranked was Jermaine Pratt from NC State, now going to LSU. And finally, the athletes, number one was Jabril Peppers, originally Michigan, now going to Georgia. Three was Bo Scarborough, originally Alabama, now Virginia Tech. 
Number four, Juju Smith-Schuster, originally USC, now Notre Dame. Number five, Curtis Samuel, originally Ohio State, now Oklahoma. Number six, Buda Baker, originally Washington, now Miami. Number seven, Devon Hall, originally Baylor, now USC. Eight, Malachi Quick, originally Oklahoma, now Miami. Number nine, Jamil Kamara, originally Virginia, now Michigan. Number 10, Sam Hubbard, originally Ohio State, now Texas A&M. Some notable ones. Number 13, Noah Brown, originally Ohio State and still Ohio State. Number 26, Malik Hooker, originally Ohio State, now Oklahoma. Number 55, Russell Gage, originally LSU, now Nevada. And then finally, we have David Njoku, originally from Miami, now playing for the Florida Gators. All right, guys, so that's going to be the end of this first season. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing that. It would help the channel tremendously. And these videos take four ever when i tell you forever especially this next one coming up because i'm going to have to put all these new recruits onto their new teams accordingly and like edit their names and stuff and if they need a rating adjustment i'll do that too um but again like i appreciate y'all watching and if you noticed i missed a notable player i know football pretty well i would say above above average so I did my best, but if you know a player from a specific class that I missed and you want me to go back and look through my footage and see what team they landed on, or if you just want me to throw them back on their original team, I don't think that's any fun. So I can go back through this original footage and see what team they landed on, and you can be like, hey, add such and such into the, the, the series. You missed him, and I'll do that. But if there are nobody, like it's your like, cousin's brother's friend i'm not gonna do that but if i did miss a notable player let me know in the comments and i will fix that uh, but again i appreciate y'all watching and i will see y'all in the 2014 2015 season